Hello people, in this video I'm going to cover adding mixed fractions. Uh, mixed fractions of course, or mixed numbers as they're sometimes called, or when you have a whole number and a fraction. And so I'm just going to look in this video at adding them. I'm going to look at four examples here that show a couple different things. My first example is 3 and 1 eighth plus 6 and 3 eighths. Now, yeah, some people like to add these vertically. For example, they'll do 3 and 1 eighth plus 6 and 3 eighths, um, and they'll add them vertically. I'm not a big fan of this. I, I don't know why. I just don't really like it. Uh, so I do it a little bit different. I just go right below. I'll write equivalent fractions if I have to. But just like when you're adding regular fractions, you have to make sure your denominators are the same. And that should be the first thing you always do when you're adding or subtracting fractions. Look at your two denominators to see, are they the same? These are. These are both in eighths. So all you really have to do is add your two whole numbers. So I'm going to add 3 plus 6. That's 9. And then I'm just going to add my numerators. Well, my fractions, really. When you add fractions, you're only adding the numerators. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And I'm going to keep it in eighths. It's already in eighths. So I get 9 and 4 eighths. Now, 4 eighths is not in simplest form. I can divide both of these by 4. And then I get 9 and 1 half. So there's my first example, but this is an easy one because the denominators are already the same. I keep them the same. I just add their numerators, add the whole numbers, and then reduce. So in my next example, of course, I don't have common denominators. I have 6 and 4 as my denominators. So if this is the case, then you're going to want to rewrite equivalent fractions underneath. So I'm going to do 9 and something, not sure yet, plus 2 and something. Notice that I'm keeping my whole numbers down there. Now I have to think of the what the common denominator is going to be, so I'll start with the bigger number. I'm thinking of multiples of 6, 6, 12, 12 works for 4. So 12 is going to be my multiple on both of these, or my denominator, sorry. Now 6 times 2 is 12, so I'm going to do 5 times 2, and that's 10. And then 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to do 3 times 3, and that's 9. So now I've rewritten the problem to give them equivalent fractions that have common denominators. And now I'm going to add my whole numbers, just like I did last time. 9 plus 2 is 11. And then 10 plus 9 is 19. And of course, those are in twelfths. Now if you look, so I have 11 and 19 twelfths. 19 twelfths is an improper fraction. 12 can fit a whole time into 19. So what we're going to do is 19 twelfths by itself, like if I just had 19 twelfths, is an improper fraction that actually equals 1 and how many times does 12 go into 19 once? And then how many is left over? You would subtract and there's a difference of 7. So it's 1 and 7 twelfths. Now, th just this fraction alone equals 1 and 7 twelfths. So going back up to my example, the 19 twelfths is 1 and 7 twelfths. So I add the 1 to the 11, making that 12 now. And then the 7 twelfths is what's left over. And 7 twelfths is reduced already. It's in simplest form. So because this fraction was actually more than 1, I added that 1 to the 11 to get 12. And then the leftovers is 7. And so it's 12 and 7 twelfths. Uh, just two more examples here. So here I have 5 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 2 thirds. You can try this one on your own. I have 5 and 3 as my denominators. So I'm going to rewrite 5 plus something. Or I'm sorry, 5 and something plus 2 and something. So I'm looking at 5, 5, 10, 15 works for 3. I'm going to make them both fifteenths. 5 times what is 15? That's times 3. So it's going to be 1 times 3 for my numerator, which is 3. And then 3 times 5 is how I get 15. So 2 times 5 is 10. And now I'm just going to add my whole numbers. Now that I have common denominators, I can add. So 5 and 
2 is 7, and then 3 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths is 13 fifteenths, and that is in simplest form. 13 fifteenths is already reduced. Just one last example, and then I'll let you go. Here I have 8 and 3 fourths plus 5 and 7 tenths. Again, you could try this on your own, or you can pause it and then check to see if you did it right. So my denominators for 4 and 10, a lot of people think it's 40. But actually, um, if you start, 10 doesn't work for 4, but 20 does work for 4. 20 is a, the lowest common denominator. You could use 40s too, but, but 20 is a lower number. So anyway, 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm going to do 3 times 5. And then that's 15 twentieths. Here I have 10 times 2 is 20. So 5 times 2 is 14. So that's 14 twentieths. I'm going to add my whole numbers. 8 and 5 is 13. I'm going to add my fractions. 15 twentieths plus 14 twentieths is 29 twentieths. If you're not sure, you can always just drop down and do some, you know, quick addition. That's a two um, off to the margin. If you didn't know what 15 and 14 is, you can always add them off to the margin. But it's 29 twentieths. Now 29 twentieths is an improper fraction because the top number is bigger than the bottom. 20 fits into 29 one time. So that means that this will increase by 1. It will go from a 13 to a 14. And then the leftover 20ths, after I put 20 into there once, is 9 20ths. And that's in simplest form. So 14 and 9 20ths would be the answer to 8 and 3 fourths plus 5 and 7 tenths. It's 14 and 9 20ths. So anyway, hope this helps. And um, just real quick, if you do decide that you're going to do it this way, like some people like to do it this way, then instead you're going to put your, your, com, your uh, common denominators over here when, when you make them. Like this example had common denominators, but let's say this was a fourth instead. If you're going to do it vertically like this, that's fine. Then when you go to make your equivalent fractions, you'll just do them off to the side, add your whole numbers, and then add your fractions just like you would uh, normally. Okay, so this is just a different way to show what I've been doing. Some people like prefer this. I, I prefer to, to go right underneath, but the choice is really yours. Anyway, hope this helped. Adding mixed numbers.